Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your cleaning host, Jennifer. We're cleaning today. This is an Okapi. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm cleaning off my desk, which is right now in a horif horrific state. Um, but I'm trying to get ready to move this desk to that wall. And this is a new, it's a brand new view. So I have lots of amigurumis that need to be put in other places. And that just fell right on the floor because it would not be a Cinnamon Stitches episode if things didn't go on the floor. I did not make this. This is for Little Man. Okay, so we're going to talk. I'm going to clean. You guys are going to keep me company while I'm cleaning and see all the weird stuff that is on my desk. Found my glasses. I found my prescription glasses. They are filthy. They were on a trash lid on my desk with other things. Things that need to be put into other rooms. I bought these so Juju can make me something cute because I love that. And of course they're in here instead of being made into something cute. I have a stitch pride pin because he's so cute. He needs to go upstairs on my pin board. Cleaning my glasses with my t-shirt. Got this ultra cool bracelet. This bead is a Viking bead from Australia. Juju made me that bracelet. Got a whole bee pen. I got a 50 cent piece. A rare, this is, in case you're not in the United States, you don't know what a 50 cent piece is. <laughs> 50 cent pieces are not common. They are the equivalent of 50 cents. They are much bigger than a quarter. And they're not common late. Like, they're not common. This was made in 1996. So, we got a 50 cent piece in here. <laughs> Don't know why. Not a clue. Got my vaccinated pin. This was sent to me. This was hanging up. I don't know why it's on my desk. You is kind. You is smart. You is important. A little tiny pocket knife. Swiss Army pocket knife. These are all things that need to be put away. Adventure awaits. Alright. Got a cool pin. Crown on it. I rearranged my little circly doodad thing. Now, problem is, you get a trash lid, and like what? I don't ever use a trash lid because it's a pain in the neck to have to open the trash can to put, because it's just paper in my trash can. I should probably bring closer to me so I'm not turning around so much. That's a scrap that's going to go directly in the garbage because I have no use for it. And I know, don't come at me. I have so many scraps. I have so many scraps. So, in case you have not been around very long, because let's face it, since I bought this, I've gotten several thousand subscribers. <laughs> I got this at Tuesday morning. It's a, it's a Lazy Susan Caddy. I paid... $14.99 for it because it still got its price tag on it. I use it for my hooks and my ink pens and a ruler. The ink pen. The one pair of scissors that has not been stolen. <laughs> so I rearranged and organized all that today. Mr. Cinnamon's tools are still in here, but that's okay. This originally was supposed to be a shared office because... When we turned this into an office, it was um, it was during the pandemic, and Mr. Cinnamon was home, and he was working out of here. It's dusty. And so it was required that he be in here, and he's not staying home anymore. He is working. So because of that, he doesn't really work in here anymore. And, um, yeah. So now I've taken over all of the space. I feel like I didn't do my intro at all, but usually on Mondays, usually I, those do not fit. Oh, we're gonna make them fit. Usually on Mondays I show what I've been working on, what I've been making for the past seven days, and uh, I have nothing finished. And I don't generally show whips. So yeah, there's that. But the reason I haven't made anything is because my hand has been 
misbehaving really poorly. Um, and I just could not, I couldn't work on anything. God, it's dusty back there. I can barely reach it. <laughs> I need a long handled uh, duster thingy. I have, let me turn and show you what I have. This is on the back of my desk. It's a mail sorter thing. It's solid wood. I got it at the thrift store, but I keep like cards, rubber stamps, um, tape things, my extra, my extra notebooks, and all of this crap goes in here. <laughs> all this crap, if I can fit it, goes in here. I have greeting cards that I got from the thrift store or that were like um, sent to me for you know donation type stuff and a uh, Christmas stamp in the bottom drawer is a clear plastic thing <laughs> circular needles of all kind I really should donate these because I actually hate these needles I don't know why I'm holding on to that I need to start a donate bag that's what I need to do when my sister was here she kind of determined for me that I should donate these skin tone yarns because for whatever reason they never got donated and I don't want to donate them because I really like them so that's not going to get donated um, I'll restart this as a donate bag Put those neat needles in there because I could use this drawer for so many other things. What is, what is this? This is not the right bag. This is the right bag. So this, <laughs> I didn't get to the point. My brain, I'm telling you, Mr. Cinnamon was actually making fun of me this morning because I could not finish my sentence because Juju asked me a question in the middle of my sentence and I completely lost what I was saying. Um, yeah, I don't know what is going on in my head, but... Monday, I usually come on and show you my makes, what I've been making for the past seven days. I already said that part. I haven't finished anything. I'm working on a dress. I think it's called the Rainbow Dreams dress. It is a test pattern. This pattern has caused me a lot of difficulties. Um, and it's not the pattern. I mean, this is just the top. This is the top of the dress. It has caused me a lot of difficulties because I've never... She invented this stitch. And it's beautiful. But it was very... Um, brain absorbing if you get what I'm saying and the the skirt part is no different um she writes in a different way than I'm used to and there's not charts so it's not a bad pattern it's just right now because of my brain fog I'm really really struggling no idea what that is cardboard um I'm struggling I, I'm really struggling with it. And also my hands are hurting. I don't know why this hook, oh, this hook might not fit in there. It might be in there for a reason. I've been looking for these. <sighs> I have so much craft supplies. And a lot of it is either because this was sent to me in Happy Mail. Um, but also like thrift store finds. Like these awesome crochet hooks they're for lace there are 16 steel hooks sizes double zero through 14. i found these at the thrift store for three dollars and i'm like yeah i i'm gonna buy it because they're worth more than three dollars but they are super 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 tiny and i thought well i'll use those one day and i haven't used them yet but i can't bring myself to let them go because I know that one day I will want to use these and especially since Juju has been asking me to make her little tiny crocheted strawberries for earrings and I'm going to need these I just got to find some thread <sighs> oh 
little man was clearly using my stamps. I'm gonna actually throw those out. I used zipper. I don't need that either. Now I have a garbage can and a donate pile down there, so don't. I forgot I had these. Chai goo. I bought these to make socks. These can be donated. Donated. Garbage. Garbage. Oh, these would have came in handy. Double point needles. Double. No, nope, that's not double point needles. Those are wooden needles. Glue sticks. There is so much stuff in here. So I have a knitting. I have a knitting bag. I don't think I ever finished my point. <laughs> oh God, help me! I don't even know. I'm cleaning off this desk so I can move it over there, and I already said that. There's also a lot of crap on my desk that I need to go through anyway, so this is just a good excuse. Mr. Cinnamon did not want me coming in here cleaning today um, because I get cranky when, I, when I'm in here and I'm... I don't need this either. Um, I get cranky. He doesn't like dealing with me. And it's not that I get cranky. I, I, first of all, I don't like cleaning. I don't think anyone does. But if I turn on some music, I'm okay. What gets to me is when it's overwhelming because there's so much to do that I put on myself. And um, I start to give myself anxiety that I'm not going to be able to finish it. Or that I just, I just get overwhelmed. And then I cry. And then I go about my business. Why do I have checks in here? And he doesn't like dealing with me when I get like that. Which I don't blame him. But at the same time, it's kind of got to be done. It's got to be done. And he, I think he would come in here and help me if I asked him. But it goes back to, I get cranky and he, I, I don't, he doesn't want to fight with me. <laughs> oh, wow. Why is this on my desk? As a picture of my dad and my two sisters when I was little. This is baby paprika right here. That's my dad. And that's the one that shall not be named. <laughs> I don't know why that's on my desk. <sighs> I should probably put... The, now this was sent to me in Happy Mail. This has become completely priceless for me. Um, it's double point needles and there's some crochet hooks in here. But I really should have all my DPNs in one spot. And I don't. Throw those in there. Some wood ones in here. That way I know where they are. Because I do use DPNs quite frequently. Um, I've gotten the hang of using them. These are cute. I have no idea where these came from. Clover Takumi. They look like chopsticks. If I let little man see those, he'd probably try to eat with them. He loves using chopsticks. My kid's a weirdo. He loves all Asian food. I mean, if it comes out of Asia, he's eating it. Especially if it's got soy sauce with it. Kid could drink soy sauce if I watch, don't watch him. So I'm going through. I got all these cases. This is DPNs. This is knitting supplies. This is supposed to be crochet supplies, but I need to go through that because there's weird random crap in there. Glasses aren't on my head anymore. Knitting. So, that's what we're doing today. We're just going to talk and we're going to clean. We're going to spend some time together. Tomorrow, I'm going to show the Happy Mail. I've got a lot of Happy Mail this week because A, I think it's because my birthday's coming up. But B, also because... Um, I got quite a few packages with some yarn that I was looking for, so I'm totally grateful for that. Then we're gonna use those. Alright, I think what is in here can stay in here. I think so. 
binder clips that I don't ever use. I wish that would fit in there. That would be awesome. Ah, it fits in there. You know what, though? If I put that in there, I'm never going to remember it's in there. <laughs> we already know. We already know. We'll put some notepads in there, maybe. What else can go in here? The tin can go in there. These are mint tins that I get from the the theme parks, but you can use an Altoids tin. I just throw my uh, my stitch markers in there. Oh yeah, I fit a lot of notebooks in here. Boat, that ain't gonna fit. That is not gonna fit. I have so many notebooks. So many notebooks. I don't know where the back cover is for that. Notepads. I love school supplies though. I hoard them and I don't know why. Um, I was going to use the poor kid excuse, but I don't really think that's it. Because I always had, we always had, I got a whole bag of tea in here unopened. Mermaid Lagoon. Maybe that'll be our tea tomorrow. Mermaid Lagoon. That was sent to me from one of my friends over on, well, she's a friend on here too, but she's mostly on the Facebook group. Handles coming loose. So yeah, tomorrow will probably be happy mail. And we will probably be filming in this disaster of a room because it's not gonna be clean by tomorrow. It's not gonna be rearranged by tomorrow. It's gonna be a couple couple week progress type thing. I put my checks back in there. Ooh, tripod. Oh, by the way, do you guys like the new angle? <laughs> We're gonna be having some new angles. I bought um, the new overhead arm for my um, my camera for overhead filming for tutorials for Piao, and it works really good as a tripod. So now my tripod is under my desk, and the stand for my ring light is under my desk, and they're gonna get stored away because this cool arm, which cost me an arm and a leg, <laughs> holds my camera holds my ring light and attaches to my desk so I don't have to have extra things on the floor like tripods take up a lot of room and I have the tripods from when I was a photographer because I used to take even when I was a photographer I used to take my own family portraits I would um the garbage can rubber band uh, I would set up the tripod I would pose my family and then I would use either a remote or a timer and I would take my own family portraits which is a lot of work, way more work than just being a regular photographer. And um, I got a lot of tripods. I have like three or four tripods because I use them all the time. Don't fit. I use them all the time. I used to use them all the time. And then when I started filming, I started using them in here. But the tripod's feet are like this, like they, they spread out like this for stability. So there's this much floor space constantly and I'm constantly knocking the things over. And when I saw that this would hold my, my camera, I'm like, okay. And it's pretty sturdy. And all I gotta do is touch the camera and I can turn it and show you the hideous mess back there. This is all makes for the past couple of months. It was in a big, beautiful basket that's the size of a trash can. And now it's overflowing. So I need to make a huge donation. <laughs> of all of my makes because I make way too many things to, for me for one person to possibly use so I really got to put my patterns away the pattern booklet is behind you Ooh, put these on the floor so at least they're off the desk the yarn's gotta go the yarn's gotta go it's gotta go off the desk where's my bag where's my bag there. I got a bag over there of yarn that needs to be shelved. And I got room on my shelves. I just have not. When I did that really big clean out and I missed the last two. Um, I did that really big clean out in here and I got rid of I think 50 boxes of yarn. I made so much room that I have room to still put stuff. I mean, I, I still have lots of room on, in, in and on my shelves because I cleaned out so much room. 
someone gave me a hard time the other day. They're like, oh, you're so lucky with all the stuff you've been gifted lately and all the, and now you're purchasing. Okay, well, I purchased not knowing any of that yarn was coming in the mail, first of all. And second of all, do you have any idea how much yarn I have used? I have used in the past month, the past month, I have used 30 skeins of cotton. 30. And that is just cotton. That's not including the 13 hanks of cotton for the cardigan that is behind you that I made as a test pattern for Hannah from Cozy Cottage. That's not including the three skeins I used for the baby blanket. That's not including... What else did I make this month? I mean, I plow through yarn. So when I purchase it, it's because I'm replenishing something that I have used. So just keep that in mind when you're making comments on people's videos. Like, I actually use the heck out of my yarn. And a lot of times, and this is what I don't think a lot of people understand, because they just see me purchasing yarn, okay? And sometimes they don't see the yarn again, but I make money when I show you guys yarn. <laughs> like, if I show you, I make money off the video. So I always make back what I spend on the yarn. Always. Unless I make like a huge $300 purchase, I am making that back. That takes me a couple weeks to make back. But, you know, I make, I make back what I'm showing you guys. That's why I buy it. It's like an investment. It's a, you know. And it's fun to show yarns. And then I can donate it back into the community. Or put it in mystery boxes so you guys can have it. And then when I put them in mystery boxes, I may have paid six, seven dollars for the skein of yarn, and you guys are paying like a dollar or two dollars for a skein of yarn. So, I mean, it all works out. I have these really cool wooden bobbins. I need to take the yarn off of them. I'm going to do that another day. I don't know why there's glitter in here. My Mickey Mouse watch. Straight pins. The tiniest zipper in the world. Look at that in the donate pile. Cause there's the screwdriver I was looking for the other day when I was putting together my mannequin. Oh, by the way, I think we have a name picked for the mannequin. We have gotten so many. I mean, I, and I was laughing hysterically because the names that were coming in there was a lot of family names that came in from my family specifically. Um, you guys requested my grandmother's name. Her name was Alma. <laughs> you requested Cinnamon Stitches, Cinnamon Stitches, Mr. Cinnamon's grandma's name, Consuelo. You requested um, or recommended my mother's middle name. Now my mother has a very strange name. Her name was Arvella Bernadette. You guys suggested Bernadette. I don't even know what this goes to. A little tripod piece. Not a clue. Let me get rid of the glitter though. I can go in the donate pile. Alright, the rest of that can stay. A bunch of you requested the name Hermione. <laughs> One of you even told me how to pronounce it, which I thought was hilarious because my niece who lives with me, Pumpkin Spice, her birth name is Hermione. <laughs> so <laughs> I laughed at that one. That one made me giggle. I was like, yeah, I don't think there could be two Hermione's in the house. I don't think that would go real well. So I thought that was funny. All right, most of that came back in. I have a chocolate Easter egg in here. I have no idea why. And put all of this and my 50 cent piece back in there. Postcards. Oh, but I think now two names really um, stood out to me because, I, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so it was in my head, it was narrowed down to these two names for silly reasons. But the mannequin's name, um, the two names that I, I narrowed it down was Agatha. 
and the reason why is gonna, gonna be probably silly to a lot of you agatha is the name i believe of the witch from the bugs bunny cartoons so i really like that name but also there's a panic of the disco song at the beginning of the song they they're singing something i have no idea what they're singing but it sounds like they're saying agatha 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 okay and i always sing agatha <laughs> when that song comes on as does juliana and i'm getting ready to go see her at a pan i'm getting ready to take her next month or the month after that to go see panic at the disco in concert and so that one stuck out to me but quite a few of you also suggested winifred and winifred is the name of bette midler's character in hocus pocus i love hocus pocus i love bette midler so i think her name is going to be winifred or winnie for short <laughs> and yes I can do a very good impression of Bette Midler, but I'm not going to bust your guys' eardrums because it's rather loud. Ooh, just like that was rather loud. But yeah, so the new mannequin's name is Winifred, which I love. I almost feel like my dad used to call people Winifred, and I don't... I know he used to call people Reputal, too. Reputal, Reputal, let down your hair. It was funny. So, Winifred, her name's Winifred. This stuff needs to go in the drawers because I'm tired of looking at it. I got one lonely CD in here. Joe Diffie Christmas. <laughs> I love Joe Diffie. I don't know why it's in here. I don't have a CD player any longer. I kind of want to buy one though because I have a lot of Garth Brooks CDs and stuff that I want to listen to. I, mean, I got a record player. I just don't have a, uh, a, a CD player. This is almost cleared out, guys. Almost done. This needs to... Oh, I forgot I had these. These need to go on my pin board, too. So I took it back. No. Does this thing work? This would be so handy if it actually worked. You guys are like, what are you talking about? I can't see it. It works. Look at that. I didn't know I had a... Did not know I had a remote for this light. And now I can't get it to go down. Oh well. <laughs> did not have a clue. That this I had a remote for this thing. I bet little man knew. My batteries might be dying. Which would be ironic because and it's hello. Probably needs new batteries. That would be so handy. That would be so handy. I have no idea why that's there. Quinnell, if you're watching, <laughs> your address is on a sticker right there and I don't know why. I don't know if I was gonna send you something. I don't know why it's there. So, yeah. Somebody is out there mowing their grass. How inconsiderate. Do they not know I'm filming? <laughs> so, yeah, that looks much better. That looks much better. This is, by the way, in case you don't know, my desk is a kitchen table. <laughs> it's a very large kitchen table. And so, I cannot reach to the other side of my desk. Oh, dang, I forgot to put the decorations back on it. I have your little sneak peeks of things that are in my room. These are made out of cast metal. And uh, I found these at Tuesday morning. And because, you know, they're Disney characters. Off with their heads! I keep them. 
on my desk. Scrooge McDuck. Because, you know, everybody wants to be wealthy at one point. Be nice to be able to swim in coins. Gizmo Duck. A lot of people don't know. Last time we went to Disney World, we um we went to an after party. Cheshire Cat. We went to an after party for um DVC members, Disney Vacation Club. Basically, we own the we own timeshare for Disney. Um, we went to an after party called uh, Moonlight Magic, and it's an after party. It was at Hollywood Studios. And this should probably be on my other channel. I don't have a use for that lace either. Um, we went <clears throat> to the after party. It's a free event for members, but you have to get in like a lottery to get the tickets to get in. And so we went in and we got we got our tickets. That's the last trip we went to Disney World. We got into the parks for free. They gave us free snack vouchers, uh, food vouchers, and we got a free popcorn bucket. It was like a really fun after hours event. So the only people that were allowed there were the DVC members or DVC guest members, and they were limited how many people could get tickets. So the crowd, it wasn't super crowded and it was dark, so it was cooling off a little bit. It wasn't like screaming hot. <coughs> so we went to that event and this was the coolest thing that I've ever experienced. I actually cried. They had in, um, there's this one area and it's a Disney Junior dance party area. You let the little kids go in and they dance and their favorite characters perform on stage or whatever. Well, this night in particular, we went in and Darkwing Duck was in there and he was on the floor dancing and there was a DJ up on the stage. And so we got to dance with Darkwing Duck. And if I can remember, I'll pop up a picture. And I was very excited because they were playing the Darkwing Duck um, song. If you're in trouble, call DW. I don't think that's how it goes. But anyway, we were singing it. And the reason that that Darkwing Duck was a memorable thing for me is because um, Paprika's, Nick, or Paprika's initials are DW. Or her maiden name was. Because our, our maiden name started with a W. So she was DW. <laughs> So Darkwing Duck, it was cool. And Darkwing Duck is not a character that is commonly out and about in Disney because he has a newer cartoon out now, but like he was in the vault for a long time. And so not only was Darkwing Duck there, Scrooge McDuck was there, but we missed him. Like he was kind of going out as Darkwing Duck came in. And then Launchpad McQuack from DuckTales came out and we got to meet him, dance with him. It was a lot of fun. But then like the, the piece de resistance, the, 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 cherry on top of it was if you've ever seen the goofy movie they do um they go to power a power line concert <laughs> and goofy and max dance on the stage for power line and they dance to the power line song they did that they did the power line concert on the stage so goofy and max and goofy was dressed like his dad persona you know dressed like a dad he had a dad sweater on it was so cool they came out on stage, they danced to the Powerline song, and they did the perfect cast, which if you're a Disney fanatic like I am, you will know all these things that I'm talking about. And so it was like reliving a cartoon I grew up on. It was the coolest thing ever. It was the coolest thing ever. It was one of my top five Disney memories. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot, a lot of fun. That was something I was saving for the Lilo and Stitches channel. I was going to tell you all about that and post pictures and stuff, but um, I've tried to sit down with Mr. Cinnamon and make videos. I can't. There's not. There are not enough hours in the day for either one of us to maintain that channel. So everyone who has supported me on that channel, I appreciate it. It's going to stay up in case somewhere in the future something happens, but... I can't do it right now. I can't do it. And also, I got an email from YouTube. They are pushing really strong for me to um, open up memberships on my channel. And I'm debating it. Um, I don't like the idea of memberships. Because it's you guys have to pay for extra content or whatever. 
And I don't think there's anything wrong with anybody else that does memberships. But for me, like, I haven't wanted to, but they're offering me, like, a significant bonus if I open up memberships. And so I'm debating with Mr. Cinnamon if I open up memberships. I, if I open up memberships, I'm not going to do, like, the multi-tiered memberships. I'm going to do, like, $5 a month membership. Um, and this is a if. This is a big if. And it might be I do it temporarily. I don't know. Right now, I'm just... I'm kind of weighing the options. Because, like I said, YouTube's offering me a bonus. And it's a pretty significant bonus to open memberships. So... I'm debating it. But if I, if I open up memberships, you guys will be notified that memberships are open. And, um... My goal would be... My goal would be to give an extra weekend video every week. So that's just something I am mulling over, thinking about doing. If any of you guys have opinion, I know that some of you absolutely cannot afford $5 a month. I understand this is not a pressure type thing. This is, it, it really would be, it really would be for the bonus to be real. And it would be to, um, you know, have weekend videos available for the members. And I don't know what that would look like right now because we're just, we're in the thinking over phase. Mr. Cinnamon's not positive that I should do it. Like, yeah, it's it's a, a, finan it's a good financial opportunity. But at the same time, he, he sees how stressed out I get when I overwork myself on the channel anyway. And he's not real, he's not real keen on me being even more stressed out. And the stress is entirely self-induced. And I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself. But it's what I do. I have yarn bowls on this table. I have really nice yarn bowls. And they're filled with the most random stuff instead of me putting it away. I have so much thread. I, ha I have not sewed and I don't know how long that needs to go over there. My nasal spray. I don't know why my allergy medicine is in here. Natural enough to eat. Resist the urge. I think I was sent this in Happy Mail. Chapstick. Yep. Delight Naturals. A little tiny stitch. I swear, you would think I was trying to relive my childhood. I have so many little toys, if you will. I think I probably am subconsciously. Hair ties. I think I'm subconsciously trying to make up for something when I was a child because my mom, and I have mentioned this on the channel before, my mom had mental health issues. I will say that. Um, she, I'm convinced she had OCD. She was very compulsive when it came to cleaning. Like, I mean, over the top compulsive. And, um, She would throw our toys away frequently. Well, we didn't have much because we were poor. But she would throw them away because she got tired of looking at them. <laughs> so I remember when I was a little girl, I had this one specifically. I remember, first of all, the first time I remember this really happening, she bought us a penguin toy for Christmas, and it was magnets. And the penguins would sit on the, the thing and they would go up the mountain and then they would slide down and they would just do it over and over. It was loud. I remember I remember that it was loud. What did I do with those stitch markers? I remember that it was loud. And I remember that it was somewhat annoying. 
The day after Christmas, she threw it in the garbage and said she doesn't know what happened to it. So I remember that very specifically. And um, when I was when I was five, the movie Amer An American Tale came out. It was about a little mouse named Five. Well, he got lost on his way to America from his family. He ended up in the end being reunited with his family. I have always loved An American Tale. I was obsessed from the first time I met it. Or I met it. Yeah, I watched it. And then um, when I met Mr. Cinnamon 15 years later, he liked the movie a lot. And he said that he always liked the song in the movie, which is somewhere out there. And we kind of like have related that song to our relationship because we both kind of had similar childhoods and we never felt wanted or loved as a child or as a teenagers. And then when we met each other, it just kind of all made sense. And um, he said, he said that, it's like that song was us, like, because he was born and raised in California. I was born and raised 2,700 miles away in Michigan. And somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight, someone's thinking of me and loving me tonight. And so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the point of that is, I'm going to donate those. I'm not going to use those. Uh... The point of that is when I was five and that movie came out and I was obsessed with it, I wanted, they had a stuffed Fievel doll and um, I think it was at like one of the, the, the big department stores. It was either, well, it was Hudson's at the time, but Hudson's later became Macy's and then Marshall Fields or Marshall Fields and then Macy's or JCPenney or one of those stores. And it was a rather big stuffed Fievel and I wanted it and wanted it and I remember I was in kindergarten and my mom said she was going to go to the store and see if they had any left and then I, I could have it as a Christmas gift and I came out of school and I, I remember this so vividly and I was five so this is a strange thing to remember so vividly. I remember running across the front of the school and running up to her and saying did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get my Fievel? And she said no honey I couldn't get Fievel. They were all out. All they had left was one floor model and they wouldn't sell it to me. And I cried the whole way home from school. And then I woke up on Christmas morning at like 5 a.m. It was way before the sun came up. And I came out and I looked under the tree and Fievel was sitting under the tree. And I ran and woke my mom up freaking out because Fievel was under the tree. And she made me go back to bed. I slept with Fievel every single night. And I also got a Santa bear from my godfather that year. And Santa Bear was another, like, department store thing. Um, it was the 1986 version of the Santa Bear. And I slept with the two of them every single night. And I remember, because they were stacked on top of each other, laying on the bed. One was here and one was here. They were about as long as my body was. And I would alternate them so that they wouldn't have hurt feelings that I was hugging one and not the other. And one day they disappeared off my bed. And I asked my mom where my stuffed animals were and she said she stored them in the attic. And I never saw them again after that. I found out later on she said she put them in the attic but they got water damage because the roof leaked and she had to throw them away. But what I really think happened was she got tired of putting them back on the bed when she made the bed every day so she just got rid of them. Even though they were like my sole piece of comfort Fast forward to a couple years ago, I was reunited with a Fievel and a Santa Bear, and now I have an entire Santa Bear collection because, you know, childhood issues. <laughs> so, you know, Donald Duck. Ugh. So I think that's why I have, I'm going to give Little Man his flashlight back. I think that's why I have so many little toys and stuff. Plus Disney stuff just really makes me happy. Let me get rid of that too. I don't need that. Let me clip these on something. I need to refill this. 
I had to sleep with my heating pack on, pad on last night and I have a bunch of these yarn needles. They are all over the house. I don't even know where half of them are right now. Um, and I put the heating pad on and I just realized the other day after having this heating pad for two years that there's magnets in it. So when I put it over my neck, it clips. All this time I had it, didn't realize that. So I finally realized the other day, and I was like, oh, that just needs to go on my pin board too. Um, I put it on last night and there was like something metal sticking out of it. And I'm like, what the heck? And so I pushed it back in thinking it was a part of the heating pad. And I kept feeling, I was like, that's not a normal metal thing. Like, what the heck is that? So I pushed it back out and it was a yarn needle <laughs> was stuck in my heating pad. And it was a big fat one that was blunt that I don't know why it was like that or in there. But yeah, it was kind of, kind of funny. Glad I found it though, because now I have another um, yarn needle because I can't seem to keep track of any of the other ones. All right, yarn bowls are empty. We're making progress. Making progress. I just got to find a place to put the yarn bowls. I have three yarn bowls. I have a yarn ball house that looks like a little bird house that I was gifted. It's super cute. I don't know what this is for. You, you ever just find random stuff you're like, what the heck is that for? I have no idea, but if I throw it out, I know I'm going to figure out the use for it. Or Mr. Cinnamon will ask me, did you see the little black thing on your desk? See, and I already got back in the habit of putting stuff back in that bowl. I just cleaned it out. I can go up there. A little black piece can go there. I don't know where to put this. Because I know I'm going to need I also have the yarn it bowl. I use this honestly more than anything. Because when you're using a yarn bowl, and sometimes when you get crocheting fast and you pull the yarn, the yarn bowl will pop out and just hop across the floor. Oreo sheds like crazy. She just had little white furs all over the house. So if I put it in the yarn bowl, the yarn it, it stays in here and it doesn't pop out. So I use that most often and it keeps the dog hair off. So that's a positive. This is another, oh, this goes to my new mouse. I had to buy a new mouse for my computer because my old one stopped working. And this one's actually really pretty because it has the rotating lights around it. And little man's like, oh mom, you're a gamer now. And it's rechargeable so I don't need to buy any batteries. So yeah. Wow, we have been talking for almost an hour. I didn't realize this video was gonna be so long. So, because it's gonna take me so long to upload this video, I'm gonna end it here. And we've made a lot of progress on the desk. So thank you so much for keeping me company while we were cleaning, because I really, really needed the company. And now I'm going to end this video. I'm gonna turn my music back on really loud and um, sing my heart out while I'm cleaning. We made a lot of progress though. I still have a lot of happy people I need to get rid of. I figured the cleaning the desk is step one to getting everything organized. Because if I get this cleared off, I can slide it this way so that I can slide the, the shelves around and it will be, you know, stuff won't be falling off the desk. And I really need to get rid of a lot of stuff that I have. I'm so glad I found my glasses, even though they don't work real well. Because <laughs> um, these are actually transit, not transition, they're, um, they're bifocals, but they like blend in. I need them to be a lot stronger than what they are because this part is just like no, almost non-existent. And the bifocal is really light, but I've pretty much destroyed my vision over the past couple years from crocheting and knitting too much. <laughs> so thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you tomorrow. We're going to have Happy Mail and Mermaid Lagoon Tea from Blend Bee. And... Uh, dropped it on the floor because it's cinnamon stitches and that's what we do. We throw things on the floor. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.